Historically, outfit repeating has been looked down upon, oftentimes met with this rude and unnecessary judgment. We see it on TV. Just, Lizzie McGuire, you are an outfit repeater. In print and on social media with numerous celebrities and influencers never wearing the same look twice. But I want to get across the fact that outfit repeating is indeed cool. Not only is it more sustainable, more affordable, saves you a hell of a lot of time when getting ready and putting together your daily looks, but I also think it's a major testament to your own personal style. Your outfit looking good is not contingent upon that one piece or the most recent trend, but instead how you put them together. The outfits that make you feel your best or most stylish or truly boiled down the outfits that make you feel most truly you. Because let's be honest, you wouldn't so instinctually and so consistently be reaching for something that doesn't feel like you. Humans are creatures of habits. We like to do what feels comfortable, so we do. So these outfits that you wanna repeat are the ones that bring you joy, that make you feel happy, or at the very least comfort, thus equating them to the root of your personal style. And not every outfit is going to be an outfit repeat. Sometimes you do want to be innovative and creative with your looks, which is fun and we love the crafting of a new outfit. But it's also a fabulous thing to have those go-to tried and true outfits that you can reach for to alleviate the pressure and stress of trying to invent yet another cool, interesting, different, amazing outfit every time. And last thing to keep in mind is that everybody who's watching this video is going to be at a different point in their style journey. Some of you may have just one or two outfits that bring you the joy and comfort of outfit repeating, whereas some of you may have 10, 15 or more. But it's all about giving yourself the space to enjoy rewearing those outfits as you continue discovering your own personal style. So to give you some inspiration on both styling and to encourage you guys to fall in love with the art of outfit repeating, here are my favorite go-to outfits to outfit repeat the heck out of. It's been crispy in LA recently and I have been throwing this on nonstop. A gray speckled sweater tucked into a pair of belted trousers is such a timeless elevated look. Now to keep this outfit on the more casual day-to-day -day side, I love styling it with chunky sneakers and a little shoulder bag. I also wore this outfit in both New York and Japan and it fit both of the fashion landscapes so easily, making this a super versatile look. Another variant of this is for even crispier weather or honestly just for a cool look is throwing my favorite olive green trench coat over top. She's cool, she's stylish, and she's on the go. This cardigan has been a ride or die for a couple years now. I love its silhouette and texture and the neckline makes it super wearable as a top for me. I most often wear this with a pair of jeans, a crossbody purse, and I love a classic pair of loafers with the look. I also will style this cardigan with a little tank top underneath and swap to some easy white sneakers. Now for when I want to be a little bit more dressy casual, I love a graphic tee and jeans layered with a camel colored blazer. I have been a major fan of a camel blazer for ages. I just think it's so chic and gorgeous and I will always be ready to reach for it when I am stuck on what to wear. Oftentimes I'll style this look with a pair of loafers, but lately I have been loving this pair of stunning ballet flats meets Mary Janes from my favorite French clothing brand. They come in like four colors and I think they're just the perfect spring shoe. Speaking of spring and dreaming of summer, this is one of my all time favorite warm weather fits to reach for. This thrifted green vest, which I'm fairly certain is an at home altered short sleeve button up into this vest. So that's definitely um, something I wanna try doing in a future video because if I can make more vests like this, uh, I, I will definitely be participating and then showing you guys how to do it. But anyways, I take the vest, I style it with these white linen pants and it is just my perfect blend of California cool. And though it may not be for everyone, I am a huge fan of green and orange worn together and I love throwing on these orange mules to so many of my spring summer outfits. 
Same goes for this look. I just love the contrast between these two unexpected colors. But let's talk about the dress. She is a warm weather favorite of mine and I love her so much. It is the perfect maxi length for my petite height. The thick ruching across the bust allows me to not have to wear a bra, which is fantastic in the summer and especially when you have a larger bust and you just want a break from a bra. Something like this is just a true godsend. And then the final thing is it has pockets. Like I said, it is my perfect spring summer dress. And to tie the whole look together, I love completing it with a little basket bag. And that's the look. Now, if you've been following me for any amount of time, it's likely you've seen me in this outfit. A breezy button up tucked into black crop trousers with either black or brown heeled shoes. And this outfit so perfectly encapsulates my sentiment from the intro of the video that this is an outfit that I can reliably throw on without a second thought. It's stylish and chic, but it makes me feel so safe and so comfortable and so me. And of course, the striped sweater was going to make an appearance on this list. This sweater is forever on repeat as well. Oftentimes I keep the styling just super duper simple with whatever jeans I'm inclined to throw on, but I also love it worn with shorts in warm weather or trousers for a more dressed up look. For the bag that I reach for when wearing this outfit, I will rotate between a crossbody or a basket bag depending on that day's activities. This fully thrifted outfit, minus the bag, that was a hand-me-down from my mom, is an easy reach for when I want to aim for a more cool girl kind of look. I love how the softness of the knit top plays with the edgier vibe of the leather coat. I think it's just a beautiful juxtaposition. And for styling ease, I'll just often reach for a pair of jeans with this one. I've also done trousers, which is really nice, but it does look more dressy. And most times I want to go for like a dressy casual look. So to keep things dressed down, I usually will opt for jeans in a lot of these styling outfits because jeans just like automatically dress a piece down. But then I like to dress it back up and of course contingent upon weather and activity. But my go-to shoe options for this are either a pair of boots or some low kitten heels. Something I've talked about a lot in my recent videos, both on my main channel and on my vlog channel. Cough, cough, link to my vlog channel below. There's a new vlog live, it's linked below. I've been trying to encourage myself to use those special pieces in my wardrobe that I love, but usually save for special occasions. And this periwinkle coat is 100% at the top of the list. But in the last several months, I've been going out of my way to reach for those special pieces, and I have been loving getting to wear this gorgeous coat. It brings me such joy to wear such a beautiful piece and it makes simple days feel so special. My easy go-to way of styling this coat has been with a knit sweater and either jeans or a pair of trousers, again, depending on the occasion. I also have styled it with a simple white tee, trousers, and a pair of chunky sneakers, and that was a really cute look. The white button down is my ultimate comfort piece. If it's more of an elevated occasion, I'll wear one with trousers and either loafers or heels. And if it's more casual, I'll wear it unbuttoned, layered over a tank with more breezy accessories. With having a larger bust, slightly oversized button-ups are just very much my I don't have to think twice comfort zone. I really like that you can dress this up, you can dress this down, you can layer it over things, under things. And the last thing I'll say about this outfit is it goes beyond just the white button up. I feel that it's the outfit formula, linen or cotton button up worn either by itself or with a little tank top and then some kind of bottoms. That is a realm that I also very much feel safe in, but also makes me feel really cute and brings me joy. And if you watched my last thrifting video, you guys know I love my blue and white striped button up. So of course she had to make an appearance too. And that's it for this video. I did not film an outro. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and are more encouraged to repeat your favorite outfits. And if you have a favorite outfit to outfit repeat, tag me on Instagram. I would love to see it. I would love to hype you up. Don't forget to check out my vlog channel. Again, linked below. And that's gonna be it for me. So love you guys lots and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. Bye.